Well, hello, I'm David Freeman with Is That Really in the Bible? I want to talk about today Jesus Christ unlikable moments. You know, he did have those, you know, that when he was unliked by the masses, unliked by the people. Have you ever had an unlikable moment happen to you where people just didn't like you? You know, maybe you stood for something. Maybe you said something that, that others did not go along with. And you, you feel the embarrassment of eyes upon you as they disagree with what you're saying. Now, of course, I have that all the time in giving sermons, you know, where someone's maybe shaking their head or looking with a frown upon their face or whatever. But it's, it's, it's really disturbing our unlikable moments. And I think a lot of us probably waste a lot of time. We spend a lot of time trying desperately to avoid any unlikable moments. We want people to like us. I mean, who wants to be hated? I don't want to go through life with people hating me. I do not want to be unliked or disliked or anything like that. And so we put a lot of energy in avoiding any unlikable moments. We avoid unlikable moments at the expense. Now, here's the problem. We avoid unlikable moments at the expense of not being true to ourselves, at the expense of not being authentic. You see, and this is where the problem occurs at. This is where we get into big trouble. And maybe you, maybe you can relate absolutely to what I'm talking about. You say, yeah, I've been there. I feel like I've not been true to myself. I feel like I've not been authentic because I didn't speak up. I didn't speak my mind. I didn't speak my voice. So here's what I want you to, to understand. Let me, let me repeat it again. We avoid unlikable moments at the expense of not being true to ourselves, at the expense of not being authentic. Now, let me just digress a little bit and tell you how to convince the majority of people that you are a Christian. Okay, are you ready? Hang on to your seat. This is how you do it. How to convince the majority of people that you are a Christian. Two words. Be nice. That, that's it. Be nice nice. Don't ever voice your opinion, because if you voice your opinion, those that disagree with you may not like you, okay? All right. <laughs> but that's how you can convince the majority of people out there. That's how you can fool the majority of people out there that you are a Christian. Just be nice. Oh, that person is so nice. That's the nicest woman I've ever met. That's the nicest guy I've ever met. She must, they must be a Christian because they are so nice. You know, you can probably fool a lot of people just by smiling at people and they'll, they'll think that's a nice guy. He's got a nice smile on his face. He must be a Christian. So, like, like I said, if you want to convince the majority of people if you want to fool the majority of people in the world, just be nice and they will, they will think that you are a Christian. 